What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a Screen Rant article that talked about that Pirates of the Caribbean is better without, or be, you know, better if Johnny Depp just is not in them. Okay, and they they went through the the movies and they talked about Jack's role in them and how, yeah, again, going forward or even if you look at the past couple movies, they would have been better without Jack. Uh, period. And I feel like they've got some of it right. I agree with them on some of it. In fact, we've talked about this in the past. But at the same time, I feel like they're looking at it the wrong way. And I felt that this article was kind of a good springboard into a discussion we've had in the past, but we've had kind of branching off discussions. I want to put them all together in this. So let me make this very clear, because I've seen this in comments uh, for years, literally, actually, for almost half a decade, ever since I started making these videos, okay? And so let me, for any new people, let me tell you guys my opinion on this, and then we'll go from there. I do agree with the idea that Pirates of the Caribbean is not Jack Sparrow. That, that Jack Sparrow doesn't make Pirates of the Caribbean Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, I actually agree with that. Now, I know a lot of people don't, and this is the this is the part of the video where I say opinions are totally okay. That you can have a different opinion than me, because ultimately, I do think we're on the same. If you let me explain, I think we're in the same boat. I would say that to make a franchise a franchise, okay, to, to go from one movie to multiple things, they could be TV shows, they could be movies, whatever, you gotta, you can't have it be on one character. You can't. Because if you do that, your entire franchise, the franchise, rests with one character. And when that character is too old, or when you've gotten all that you can out of that character, okay, you're in trouble. You're in some really big trouble. Now, some movies have done it well. Some movies have kept characters around for a very, very long time. Some movies have done it terribly. Some movies have kept characters around and maybe kept them around too long. And this, again, this applies to uh, TV shows as well. In fact, another one of my all-time favorite franchises, Scream, is currently going through this, where it's like, do you keep it with Nev Campbell and Sydney? They're not going to, right? Do you kill her off? That would be, to me, I would not really like that whatsoever. I love Nev Campbell as Sydney, okay? So, I mean, different situations, different movies these different TV shows have these different situations. So I do agree with that. I do agree that pirates cannot be attached to Jack Sparrow forever. Because if you do that, when Giant Up gets too old, or when this stuff happens. Now again, you guys know from these other videos, I'm on his side. I'm 1,000% on his side. I want him back, okay? But when something like this happens and you lose him, the discussion doesn't even just become justice for Johnny and all this stuff, but also becomes, oh man, Pirates of the Caribbean is dead. And in reality, it shouldn't be like that. It should not be like, you know what I mean? They should be able to survive without him. And we've seen them do attempts at that. Now, what I will say is this. I do not think these movies are all Jack Sparrow. I think that he does a phenomenal job, except for Five. I've always said that. I've never liked his character in Five. It's not Johnny Depp's fault. I, I think fully it's the writing. It's the way that they directed him to act overly drunk and just not his character. I've always said the true Jack Sparrow lies somewhere in between three and four, between At World's End and Stranger Tides. Though I, I love his portrayal in both of those. I think he does a phenomenal job I, in all, actually all four of them. But those two are the ones where it's like, yeah, you know what? He's crazy. He's weird. He's funny. But he's also, re he's a person. Like he actually has emotion. He has feelings. He has, th you know what I mean? And I, and I don't think one and two did as good of a job as three and four did as actually doing that, even though I hate four. I don't even think four is a good movie, but I think his performance in it is phenomenal. So again, going to the Screen Rant article, you know, again, I agree with that, but in terms of like, okay, these movies in general are better out, uh, better without him, not true. I mean, these four, actually, well, five movies in all, they're all directly attached to him, and you know, I think four, we've had this talk before, right, how they made him the main character. The thing is, you can have it both ways. And, and another thing is, by the way, I you need him in six. That's, I think, where I differ the most from Screen Rant is, well, number one, okay, his character is very important to all of these movies. And I think the way that they've done them, ha they've gone through different patches of being smart with it and not being smart with it because when you make him the main character, it doesn't go so well. You see that in 4. 4, he is the main character. He's in so many, which is fine because he's a really good character in 4 and, and his performance is great. But the issue is the supporting cast is awful. God awful. I, I've said this before. I know, I know people don't agree, and that's okay. But Blackbeard, I think, is the weakest villain. Angelica is the weakest female, uh, or even, you could say love interest, but just the probably the weakest female character. Only only maybe uh, you know one up by Serena, right? And Philip. I mean, these are terrible, I think, 
terrible characters. Now, again, I think their performances are fine. They're just badly written. They're badly written. They're badly introduced. They're badly developed throughout the entire movie. They're not good. You And, and so because of that, you have the Jack Sparrow movie with Barbosa, which Barbosa was really good in it. But besides that, the movie was weak. Five went back to what I think one through three did, where Jack is in it. Jack, uh, the Whatever's going on is because of him, right? One with Barbosa and the Black Pearl. Two and three because of Davy Jones and Beckett and all the stuff that you know he did connected to it. Now, again, four was kind of the same thing, but not really. See, four was him kind of thrown into somebody else's story and then making it the Jack Sparrow story. Where, and then again, you went back and now you go to five and Salazar and his escape is because of Jack, right? And also the reason he was there in the first place is because of Jack. So that's the way to do it. Now, although five isn't the greatest movie of all time and while four wasn't good, that's how you do it is you can have him in these movies. You He just can't be the sole focus. What's going on in the movie can be because of him. The villain can be directly related. The other characters can be directly related. Doesn't matter. But the point is, he can't be in every scene. You got to have a good supporting cast. Now, I think they did a much better job with five. I know not everybody agrees with that, right? With Henry and Karina. I love them as characters. I think they were really good, especially Karina. I know, again, not everybody agrees with that, but... That's the situation. And so, and, and, and the final thing, and also, again, to where I really differ from the screen rant, is this. Yes, we probably don't need him after six, so I actually do agree with that, but we need six. We need six in the same way we needed five. Four was not good enough, and I know we're asking basically, like, for the best conclusion possible, and it's like we want him to keep... Here's where I stand. Here's where I think of Jack Sparrow. I want to keep seeing him until we get... The proper farewell. I think people agree with that, but again, to, to go into more detail, like three, the more this goes on, and I've actually made videos about this in the past, the more these, uh, the more the years go on, you do have to have a discussion of should they just have finished it with three? Because I know not everybody liked two and three. I know a lot of people think one's the best. In my opinion, three is miles, miles and miles the best movie, okay, by a, by a long shot. And I think the way they ended three, was so perfect. So, not just for Jack, but Jack's was perfect, but for everybody. Now, yes, Jack didn't have the pearl, so you could argue that's not necessarily perfection, but I mean, a lot of characters had conclusions, or at least, like, you can imagine where they're going in the future, and all's good. Four, no, 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 not good enough, not good enough. The ending wasn't good enough. How they did Jack was fine. He, uh, having him actually care about more people, which he cared about Will and Elizabeth and others, but you know, having him care about Angelica and stuff, fine. But they didn't end it very well. Five, I mean, dear God, the ending was better because he got the pearl. He was sailing to his beloved horizon, right? We all know that ending. It was a really well uh, shot ending, it was like visually well acted by him. That was one of the best uh, scenes that he played as Jack in Pirates 5. But the whole movie, I mean, they just did him dirty. They, I mean, they did him really, really bad. And you know, again, because the directors even said, like, there was going to be a six. It was, was going to be a two-part finale where six would have been the last movie. So you know there was more. And now we're just kind of sitting here, and that's where I differ from Screen Rant. That's where I differ from a lot of people. It's like, I think you guys agree with me. I think we differ from, like, Hollywood or, you know, journalists online. Because remember, these Pirates movies after one have never been looked at very well from, like, people online, from, like, critics. They're just, they're, they're, you really just should, should just ignore them with that stuff. But, you know, I'm sitting here, and I want another movie with Jack, done right, good character throughout, and a, and a proper farewell to his character. That's what I want. And that's, I think, what sucks the most about this entire... And I've said this before. Sucks the most about this entire situation because even if you think Five's ending was good, good enough with him sailing away, I don't think it was like a good enough farewell. If you think about it, Three's farewell, it broke it up in several different ways, but when they all said goodbye to Elizabeth... That was really kind of saying goodbye to each character in its own way. Now, yeah, we did get the Jack and Gibbs thing. We did get the Barbosa thing. We did get the uh, Will and Elizabeth on the island thing. So we did get each kind of section split off, which I thought was masterfully done, okay? But we also did literally get these characters saying goodbye. And I'm not saying I need these guys to have handshakes and saying, like, pleasure sailing with you, time to go. I don't need that, but I want, like, an actual goodbye. This was more of a goodbye to Barbosa because of the— 
what five did. It was more of a goodbye to Barbosa than anybody else. It was a beginning for uh, you know Henry and, and 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 Karina. It was really a what the heck are they doing with with Davy Jones at the end? And because of Davy Jones, like yes, that's attached to Will, but you you know, you know Jack's you know involved too, right? There's no way Davy Jones is back and Jack isn't involved. So you know. There was more to it. And I know that you can just throw away end credit scenes. Different movies have done that actually in the past as well. But you see what I mean? I, I actually am in more agreement than people may think with this kind of stuff because I really, again, you know, the Margot Robbie one, while I don't love the fact that, like, okay, where will they go with the all-female thing? Not, again, and I don't think you guys think this, but, you know, some people may. I'm fine with female characters. I mean, Pirates has actually a long history of having very strong and very competent, you know, female characters. Uh, characters in them. I love Margot Robbie. I think she's awesome. Okay, so I, I think she'll do an awesome job. But you know where they'll take that movie, I, I'm very worried about. But I actually want spinoffs. I want more. I want TV shows. I want prequels. I think Pirates can do that because it's not just attached to Jack. But the point that I think you know, online people, online critics, and me differ, maybe even you guys, is. Give me spinoffs. Give me prequels. Give me whatever, whatever you want. Give me a, a, a Henry and Karina side story. But give me Pirate Six with Jack, and then after that, you can you can be done. Because again, I think that is where um, maybe even you guys and me disagree. Where it's like they do eventually need to say goodbye to Jack. I think if nothing else, what happened here over the last like year or so should make people very aware that like you know because of this. You do need to eventually say goodbye to him. Now, I've always said that because do you really want a 70-year-old Jack Sparrow going around? You know what I mean? Now, Giant Up's not that old, but he will get there. He'll get there. And so in 10, 15 years, if we still want pirates, do we need Jack when he's 70 years old to be out there? No. Maybe he's a cameo, but he doesn't need to be in there. We can have other characters, and we should. And the movies have done a pretty okay job at setting up that this world is supernatural. This world, you know, there's more going on here. There's and there's more characters, uh, you know. And even though not all the characters are very well liked, I think that has been ever since three ended. That's been the main issue. Is that. Forrest cast just didn't work. Maybe Scrum kind of did, but he's not somebody you build around, right? And then five, while I like Henry and Karina, I don't think the majority did, and I don't think they're strong enough to carry the franchise either. Maybe they think Margot Robbie, that can spawn a couple movies because she's a very, you know, I mean, she can definitely carry a movie. So it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting uh, a topic that, you know, again, we've talked about parts of it before, but I kind of want to just summarize it in this video. So let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think? What do you think about Jack Sparrow? What do you think about Johnny Depp? What do you think about what I said? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel, Podcast Now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And, and again, you can always follow me on Twitter, Podcast Now 15. I have a Discord server. I have a second channel podcast now plus if you guys want to check out any of that stuff it's always in the description below all three of those links are there thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you all on the next video